Well, the cool cat got in there, Milt. Very humorous. Johnson was looking one way when cool cat came the other. Cool cat fighting Danny Bull Johnson in the ring with him. I think it's pretty... Well, there, there we see. He's got the whip in his hand now, George Bobo. Uh, I would hate to see him use it on any man. Well, he has the whip in his hand, but he, he forgets the bill is sitting over at the table. I watch every move that he makes into that ring on Cool Cat Jackson. Well, I hope so, because he's got that whip in his hand, that coil. The Cool Cat keeping aware of the movements of Johnson outside the ring. Three minutes remaining in this match, and I would have to, to, to say that were it not for Johnson's present, I have a feeling that Cool Cat would have put away his opponent until he's through it by this time. But uh, the distraction of having Johnson outside the ring really has uh, destroyed Johnson. Jackson's perspective, and he's had to concentrate as much on Johnson outside the ring as he had on his opponent, but there was a unique submission hold by the Cool Cat. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackson! He's got more than A little earlier, we had the pleasure of talking to John Bonello, and John Bonello has told me, Dr. Jerry Green Jr., that you are in for the time of your life up in the beautiful island of Newfoundland. Do you have any kind of a rebuttal for what Dr. Jerry Green is supposed to do, supposed to do, when he gets up to Newfoundland, to John Bonello? Well, first of all, John Bonello is a mindless twit. Let's face it, I have four PhDs, eight master's degrees, 16 bachelor's degrees, 19 associate's degrees, from the finest universities in the world. I have truly quenched my thirst for knowledge in the finest fountains of learning available. I realize that there's a high illiteracy rate in Newfoundland, and some of my Susquehannaian vocabulary is completely foreign to these buffoons up there. But I have come to Newfoundland with a purpose. First and foremost, Vanello's talking about attacking me from behind and ripping a $500 suit off. Fine, if that's what he wants to call being a man. I just made some references to that floozy that he calls his wife, and he takes. A, some people can't stand the truth. But I'll tell you something, Vanello. Your family stinks. Your father, that little midget, runs around. I've seen him around here. And your brother's a wimp. Now, Bonello, you heard Chris Carter. I was molding Chris Carter to championship caliber. Molding him. Evil. And you, you used every despicable tactic in the book. And it was condoned by all the officials in Newfoundland. Well, I'll tell you something. Chris Carter was too nice of a guy, John Bonello. And when it comes time for you and I to face each other across the ring and look eye to eye, you're going to turn to jelly at the handshake, Bonello. Because I'm not coming to Newfoundland for vacation. I'm certainly not coming up there for those ugly women. I'm coming up there for one thing, Bonello, and that's you. And I'm not going to leave that island until you're lying face down on the mat in a pool of blood. You hear me, Bonello? I don't care about talk. I don't care about my $500 suit. I want you for what you did to Chris Carter, and you're going to pay the price. There you have Dr. Jerry Green Jr.'s rebuttal to Bonello. To have on a week night. It is time for the wrestling hold of the week. We've got two relatively sane wrestlers tonight. The blonde guy with the new perm is Bob Bradley. Dark-haired guy Steve King. Bradley with a dangerous but quite effective high-altitude body slam. King is hurt but crafty enough. And watch this move. He rolls out of the way. It is the self-inflicted lower body smash. As we take a look again in slow motion, Steve King uses a crafty move. And for Bob Bradley, it's the self-inflicted lower body smash, a move that should not be tried at home. Please remember that. The New York Jets, by the way, eight and a half point favorites to beat the Seahawks on Sunday. The Huskies, 15 point favorites. That means October fun. A lot of the wrestling fans will be wondering how the match in Toledo tonight at the Wade High School was put together and this here bout, which was shown last week in the Detroit Toledo area, uh, will show you, friends, just exactly why this match was made in Toledo. The match was supposed to be for the United States Tag Team Championships 
Fred Curry and John Bonello champions going against the great Wojo and Dr. Jerry Green Jr. As it turned out, in this bout, both Curry and Green were hurt, although we didn't know it at the time. But there was some outside interference that will take place later on in this match. And it seemed only natural that we should put Bulldog Don Kent into the ring with Dr. Jerry Green Jr. tonight so you fans in Toledo could see that match. In addition, Dominic Danucci will be there. We will have Zoltan, and you have to see this Zoltan. He is a typical rock punk star, whatever uh, the teenagers call them nowadays. Um, Ronnie Z, the toughest man in, in street fighting in all of Toledo, will be there against Del Mascaris. The ladies will be there, and that's all tonight at the Wade High School in Toledo. Well, the match is progressing along here. It's uh, Bonello outside of the ring now. Wojo is inside the ring, dragging Bonello along the apron. Curry is in the corner. The referee, of course, as we explained last week, and for you fans who missed that, is Terry DeMoore, who is a great amateur wrestler in his own right. He is national champion in the United States for many years. Right now, Wojo is working Bonello over on the outside of the ring. For your fans up in Newfoundland, this will be also a natural here where we will be seeing John Bonello going against Dr. Jerry Green Jr. Starting in July the 31st. And Puerto Basque will go right across the island, right through the St. John's, every major town, town, village, hamlet, whatever. Okay, now some of the fans are trying to interfere there and the security is putting them back. Bonello is still on the outside of the ring. Whoa, Joe. Great Will Joe, being counted back by referee De Moore, has gone over and got Bonello, throws him back into the ring, tags Green, whip Bonello off. Here comes the clothesline. Bonello goes down. Green is working Bonello over. Here he now picks Bonello up by the hair, tags Wojo. Here comes another clothesline. Bonello down, ducks underneath. He comes off the rope, rolls and tags Curry. Here comes flying Fred Curry. Drop kick, down goes Green. Drop kick, down goes Wojo. Another drop kick, down goes Green a second time. Gets Wojo in the breastplate, knocks him down again. Works over Green, throws a punch to Wojo. Goes after Wojo in the corner. Bonello is still recouping in his corner. And there is where Dr. J. Green throws the salt into the eyes of Fred Curry. And Fred will be out of wrestling for six weeks. Now they take care of Bonello. And that put Bonello out for about five or six weeks. Green has just hit referee DeMoore. The match has been stopped at this point. Green and Mojo have been disqualified. DeMoore throws a punch at Green. Green retaliates with his right hand. Both Wojo and Green are working over Bonello. Now, as Don Ken said, he doesn't have any love for Bonello, nor does he have any love for Curry. But this all started in the dressing room when uh, Don Kent was talking to Green about managing him in Newfoundland. One word led to another. Here comes Kent. Creases Wojo over the head with the chair. You heard that bang. And Graham and Kent start exchanging punches. At this point, all hell had broken loose. Here comes Ronnie Z and Mike Anthony. Come into the ring and try and separate Graham and Curry. Referee DeMoore had called them in. They were standing at ringside watching the match. They still can't get Kent back. Walter Johnson next. Cleveland Brown football player comes into the ring to assist. Brown had participated in a match a little earlier with Bulldog Brower. Kent had wrestled Johnny Powers a little earlier on that card. And they're all trying to separate Kent. Now uh, Tony Vaccaro, junior heavyweight champion, is in the ring pulling Kent back also now. They seem to have got them apart. And wrestling fans tonight in Toledo at the Wade High School, you will see Bulldog Don Kent going against Dr. Jerry Green Jr. 
A lot of excitement, a lot of action in store for your fans in the Toledo area tonight at the Wink High School on Front Street. See you there. Wrestling fans in Newfoundland, you know that we're coming there. The superstars of wrestling will be up in the beautiful island of Newfoundland starting on July the 31st, going all the way from Port of Basque right across the island to St. John's and back again. One thing we did tell you about was uh, John Bonello will be up there, and he'll be going against Dr. Jerry Green, Jr., and you've heard us mention in the past about how Bonello tore the clothes off of Dr. Jerry Green. You're going to see that right here today. The tape is a little cracked up at the start, but what brought this on was some remarks that uh, Green made about Bonello's wife. <laughs> fans of Newfoundland are in for what a match Bonello and Graham it's just a natural you're going to be seeing it right across the island in just about every city town Hamilton village all you fans of Newfoundland superstars of wrestling coming to Newfoundland starting on July the 30, 31st all the way from Port of Basque to St. John see you then News Brothers here for A&B Sound. In this world, there aren't many things that are free, but we'd like to tell you about four of them at A&B Sound. The Yamaha PC9 Mini Component Stereo System sets you free to take your music with you wherever you go. And you can buy this unit for just $37.49 per month for 12 months, interest-free. And you're free from any down payment. Add to that, at just $449.95, you've got freedom from high prices. The Yamaha PC9 comes with AM, FM, and is designed for active living. Get yourself free at A&B. A&B Sound, Vancouver and Victoria. We're interest-free at A&B. Soft color your hair, then you can soft color it. Soft brunette, soft auburn, soft blonde. The soft colors of L'Oreal. Soft color is as hard as brassy. It's rich, radiant. Now touch. Soft color means soft hair. Big, sensual. Soft to the touch, soft to the eye. The soft color of Exynos by L'Oreal. Beautiful, and I'm worth it. One of the researchers at BC's Children's Hospital compared research to peeling an onion. You peel back the information, one layer at a time, and sometimes it makes you weep. The doctors at Children's Variety Research Center search for cures to the illness and the disease that afflict children everywhere in BC. Through the Children's Health Research Foundation, you can help. From all the children of BC. This message was brought to you by the broadcasters of BC. All of us have very special friends. Friends that sometimes have no accidents. Friends who have a little trouble with the ups and downs of life. And sometimes, the ones who need help the most are very young. That's why Red Cross programs are in schools across the country. So everyone can help when they're needed. The Red Cross. Helping friends. Help friends. Let's take a look at some of the winners on today's card for you wrestling fans who would like to go back over with me. We opened up with Bruno Sammartino Jr., the son of the legendary Bruno Sammartino Sr., and he was going in there against a very capable opponent named Burns, but of course Sammartino won that match. Second match seen Dominic Danucci tagging up with Greg Wojo. They went against the combination of Paul Harris and Hans Schroeder, and of course, Wojo and Danucci won that match very easily. Then we had the Continental Lover, Eddie Mansfield, and he was taking on Bubba Hawkins, and in short order, Eddie Mansfield was the winner of that match. And then we had Billy the Cool Cat Man, and that's Jackson, 
and he was taking on Killer Stewart, and Billy was the victor when the match was ended. Then in the curfew match, we've seen the combination of Bobby Colt, and he was teamed up with uh, Chris Carter, and they were going against Troy Alexander and Buddy May, and of course the winners in that match was Colt and Alexander because the sinister one was at the ringside. A lot more action next week. This is George Cannon saying to you, over to you.